So the thing about mental health problems and the thing about mental health is that we all have mental health and we all have that potential to develop a mental health problem. We all will sit on that spectrum somewhere or other throughout our lives. And actually for me, when I left hospital after that year, it was really important that I identified the coping mechanisms that actually helped me live my normal life and live kind of a good life out in the real world. So for me, I identified a couple of coping mechanisms. The first one was exercise, and actually using exercise in a really positive way to give me the headspace to actually think about things, the headspace to process things, and actually realizing that I could do exercise as a fun thing to do, and something that was good for my mental health, and not something that I was doing to punish my body. The second thing was knowing what my triggers are, and identifying these situations that I potentially find triggering, so that when I get put in them, or when I find myself kind of building up to one, I can have those coping mechanisms in place to actually manage them. And whether that's me going home for a weekend, or whether it's exam stress, or whatever it might be, it is about identifying that and working with it. The third thing is around challenging myself. So actually putting myself out of my comfort zone so that I can challenge myself every single day with food and consequently challenge myself in my recovery. How I see it is the anorexia is just around me and over time it will cause me to restrict a little bit. So it's important that I'm constantly pushing out those boundaries. And then the other two are around therapy and also about talking about how I feel. The therapy is something that I do still do. I go every single week and have therapy, and that is totally okay that I do that. And actually, for me, it's really important to actually have someone that I can talk to about things, but also someone that I can keep offloading to in that professional environment. And then the final one is talking about things. Talking is so, so important. I cannot reiterate that enough. And it's really important that we all identify maybe five or six people that we can have that really honest conversation with. I know that it's really hard to have that honest chat, but actually the more we talk about things, the better it is. So I encourage you to actually start to identify those people around you that you can be 100% honest with all the time.